our strategy to diversify because we understood that um, circulating coins were declining, people were using different forms of payment. And we've been really successful in that diversification. We started some new businesses, we've grown in new markets, we've grown in new countries. Um, and that gives me real confidence to know that we absolutely can achieve our five year strategy. So over the last three years, the Royal Mint has overachieved its objectives in the last plan that we set. It's set incredibly strong foundations for the future growth and we're so well positioned um, as we enter into our next period of, of strategic growth and development. We've actually got two purposes. The first one is to provide UK coins for the Treasury and that's our first and foremost uh, purpose. The second purpose we've got is to grow the value of the Royal Mint asset. We've been here 1100 years and we need to make sure whatever is happening and that we're actually growing the value of, of the Royal Mint. The Royal Mint's vision is being famous and trusted as the original maker, making metals precious to our customers, showcasing British craftsmanship. We really want to be an exemplar of British craftsmanship. We already are in our own areas of expertise, but we're, we're expanding those and some of our new businesses see us moving into new areas of British craftsmanship, bringing skills onto the site here in Lantrissant that actually aren't in, in the UK at all. And we really make, want to make sure that we are demonstrating in every product and service that actually we really value this British craftsmanship. And you'll see us going out and talking about the role of British craftsmanship because we really want to champion it. I'm hugely excited by the ambition that the Royal Mint is showing. Um, we've already delivered a huge amount, but the next five years could be transformational to the business. I'm really excited about the opportunities and the challenge. I'm working with a fantastic team at the Mint to deliver that. We have a corporate strategy because um, if you think about the Royal Mint now, we have a number of different businesses all operating in really different marketplaces. So the corporate strategy which has um, eight themes is really that framework and is saying to each of the businesses, please interpret this and please focus on your customers, but absolutely that, that corporate strategy brings everything together to make sure everybody in the organisation is aligned. Right across the organisation, we want to make sure that we've got sustainable plans, that we can provide sustainable jobs, and it's really integrated into how we work. Sustainability from an environmental perspective is going to be at the core of everything we have to do going forward. It's going to be an expectation of business. But not only that, it's the right thing to do, um, to be sustainable for future generations. We're 1100 years old and we want that to continue for the next 1100 years. Internally, we want to make sure that we've got a great place to work which really values people for the differences that they bring and that we work as a team to make sure we absolutely can deliver and we've got the right environment for that. And then also externally that actually we're providing our products and services to lots of different communities and lots of different types of customers. But also when we're, we're designing those, we're really thinking about what is important to, to customers. Thank you.